This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey. For excellent low poly horror games, check the link in the description below for some of his works. Previously on Valley. What do you say we build ourselves an ice rink out behind the barracks, get some makeshift skates and some hockey sticks, and have our own tournament, eh? Yeah, that sounds good, don't you know? And so the journey continues. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Valley. Thank y'all so much for continuing to join me on this crazy journey. When we last left off our nameless wanderer, uh, we managed to get through Camp Hende, much to my immediate relief. Um, so thank you guys for being so understanding. If it looked like I might have rushed through parts of it. Um, so we are in the tram tunnel, um, heading towards the Ostra Weapons Facility. But before we do that, we have to go through the Proving Ground. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, but whatever. It is what it is. I um, did get an interesting piece of lore and mythos um, on the loading screen before we go down to that. Hey. Um, it gave an update on those Amrita swarms, at least the first incarnation that we saw previously. And what it was saying was the Amrita clusters, the swarms, are actually mosquitoes that feed on Amrita, and when they become aggressive, it's because they're starved for Amrita. So when we pump energy into the swarms, we're basically sating them so they become docile, which I find... I know, Erica, hi -o. Um So when they become sated, which is interesting because when we charge our own Amrita up by jumping into the swarm, so it almost feels like synergy. Anyways, enough about that. Let's run the rails. Yes! This may not be as fun as the first time. Oh, who am I kidding? This is always... Shut up, Fisher. Access to the leaf suits. So now, ha ha ha. Oop. Go, 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 go. Come on, y'all. Tell me you would not get a joy out of like running the rails in a leaf suit. Looks like it's caved in. Yep. Okay. Find a way to the Astra weapons facility. Okay. <clears throat> Don't you mean Astra, Boogie Nat? No, Earl. It's Astra. Oh, let's get bendy. And I'm not talking about the ink machine. You get the some waters down here. Gotta go there. Vertigo warning. Sorry, Casey. This makes you a little bit on the queasy side. Or anybody with a vertigo, for that matter. Actually, I'm curious. Who in the funk house does have vertigo? Hey, check it out on a Lionel Richie song, Dancing on the Ceiling. It's... I'm a nerd, I know. I think only Panic Monks need to get that reference. Maybe Mayday. This is a military live firing area. Hooray. Go progress. <clears throat> Weapons testing facility, use of deadly force authorized. Great. Uh, tram tunnel, and look at what's going on in Austria. That ain't good. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do some acorn hunting. We are definitely going to do some refurbishing. Those egg, those, that, that music, y'all, I'll tell you what, that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, hang on. No, we're okay. Maybe. Okay, um, Valley held us back into gear. Old trucks. Hey, Harkov, what kind of uh, jeeps would these be for a truck? And this does take place circa you know, 
in the 50s, or in the 40s, 50s, I mean, I forget when the Manhattan Project actually was occurring, I know, I know, shame on me for forgetting my history, that's Harkov's subject, not mine. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of seeing if there's any, get up there, I'm seeing if there's any, uh, collectibles or consumables we can snag while we're up here. We'll probably need to keep our eyes open, mainly because of the energy usage, because, well, we're doing a lot of grappling, probably some double jumping, because, well, this is really going to be where our skills are put to the test. And it's probably the next episode where I actually go open the next acorn door. <clears throat> I'm just, I don't want to fiddle around too much, because I am on a ton of a little bit of a time crunch tonight. I think I've got... Cards in for the days that sleep is really good. Earl, take a number, bro. Oh, okay. I know Ray's not sleeping well either, so I'll oh, oh, give me that. So, you know, team it's up. This must be where they started testing bombs. She you don't say. So there's Ostra over there to the north. Good. Let us go on a hunt. What's this over there? Is that Red to Selma? A lot of dead things. I mean, the valley energy is okay. We are rock solid. We'll have to go there eventually, I think. Will we pro yeah. No, I think we gotta go up that way, but first let's let's just get a lay of the land quickly. Anything in here? In here. Rubble, rubble, and rubble. Um oh, hello? Nope. Hang on. Yep. That's so cool. I love it with the dust settling. Look, I I told y'all a while ago, there's gonna be a lot of stuff with me gushing in this game. Okay, so we do have to go up that way. Hell <clears throat> you. What's up here? Hang on. Uh Caution, I have ammunition, chemicals, something. Oh, hello, I'll take that. Oh, praise the sun. Oh, we got some demon, demons over there. Kind of looks like an art deco kind of building, like some of the apartments I used to see back in uh, where I went to college. Uh, okay, cool, so we got some orbage over here. A little more frivolous. I'm not going there yet. Where are we? Okay, it's just another way. Okay, 74. Come on, give me one more acorn. Give me my luck. Hey, here it is. My lucky number 75. 76, 77, and 78. Okay. Okay, cool. Hopefully we'll get maybe up to 80 acorns before we leave the Proving Ground. I mean, there's enough dead trees over here, I feel like we could. Seems to be a reasonable goal, 80. Yeah, we got Orbage, so I think we should be okay. Got some columns over here. Nothing. Oh, hey, there it is. 80. And 81. Brilliant. Okay. Hey, buddy. Buddies. It's being very relaxed. Oh, wow. These are reforming. We're great. Okay. So we can stop warm hunting for now. Okay, so apparently there was another acorn out here. Um, Doric Columns. Are those Doric? Yes. I don't know why I just did that voice. Oh, we got another acorn door. That was it. Six acorn. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Being, I guess... Ah, hell. I 
I saw you waiting there for me. I gotta be a little more... Oh, that's a phase. Okay, so I think the ones that glow green... Um, are... I think those are phase one to go. So, yeah, I think the green ones, the really fast moving ones, those are probably the phase ones. Whereas the standard, we got a lot of crates here. Whereas the standard ones, I think, are just the ones that shoot. I'm theorizing here, so I'm probably wrong. Uh, grab these. Okay, yeah, let's go look at these crates right quick. Oh, from Edwin Hall. The land sharks are competing against the raptors today. They're fast, agile, and a little overconfident, but I'm sure we can beat them. That all depends on how our new recruit holds up. I hope you'll be cheering us on today. Wish me luck. Cute. I'm starting to sound like Craven. Cute. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> no, for Virginia. As baffling as these ancient ruins are, I see hints of other civilizations hiding within them. The Aztecs believed that life came from the gods sacrificing themselves. Okay. They produce the sustenance that nourishes life and a great ongoing sacrifice continues to stay in the universe. Well, I believe that. From a physics standpoint. They believe that everything springs from the severed bodies, limbs, and heads of the sacrificed gods, while humanity itself are those deserving and brought back to life through penance. It's quite possible we're witnessing reflections of these bullies here within the valley. I don't know. I mean, Mesoamerican lore is probably the one of the few things that I don't know a significant amount about, if much at all. So I'm not 100% certain, but I do know a few things about other religions. Other acorn. They're from Virginia. <clears throat> like countless other civilizations, many Mesoamericans, there you go, also believed in reincarnation. This meant no body burning, as the body's vital force must be preserved. The Aztecs believed that our hearts were a fragment of the sun, a piece of the cosmos trapped within each of us. Human sacrifice was seen as a repaying the debt of life owed back to the universe. Was that what they were doing here? A sacrificial restitution to the earth? Now, see, that's interesting because, according to Scandinavian lore, to um, be burned usually was implying a warrior's death that would in turn get them sent to Valhalla. Or closer to the Aesir and the Vanir. Once again, I'm completely extrapolating. I'm not an expert. Oh gosh. By my calculations, the natives who inhabited this land vanished several centuries ago. What happened to them? Where did they come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Shut up. <laughs> Why did they come here? The soil is not ideal for agriculture. The best I can reason is that they must have been. This must have been sacred ground. Okay. Any other notes to dehydrate me? Oh, hello. What's down here? Not going down there right yet. That could be death. We're not going down there yet, because we have some stuff over here we need to take a look at. Come on, mouse, behave. Some more orbs. Do we have anything more over here? Apparently, we do. So this... Never mind, this is the proving ground. So, we are going to backtrack and go down that hole. Probably die. But, you know what? I don't remember. So it could be good, but it probably won't. Okay. Achievement unlocked. This is Valley. <laughs> I've never gotten that before. Wait, hang on. We've got... Wait a minute. There's... Okay, in my defense, once again, I did not expect 
cute little Easter egg brought to us by Blue Isle. But I didn't expect Sarlacc or a 300 reference to be at the bottom of that pit. But good on them. Um, come on, mouse. Behave. So, kind of want to pump stuff back in because we are going to start the death soon. Nothing? Okay. There. There's one. Just need one more. I bet... Okay, so I bet those trees... One more... One more, we should be back up to snuff. I bet by pumping Amrita into those... Sorry, my... You probably need a new mouse pad, or my mouse could be going. I'm meaning I need to change the batteries. I don't know. Uh, let's get a little bit closer and see what... I have no idea what I just did. I'm not going back down in that pit, though. Valley's back up to full health, so let us mosey on over to the actual proving ground and watch things get crazy. Okay. Once again, it's the grappling that is going to... Stop bothering me. Uh, that's going to be the biggest pain in my ass, but that's okay. Okay. We got our leaf suit dudes. So we kind of saw something similar. Navigate your way through the Pathfinder tra Training Forest. We saw a little of this... Easy there. before we got to Soma. But the difference with all this is eventually this is going to segue to water. So this is going to be the real deal. Now remember, this is all physics-based. So before we do that, though, I do see a chest. And another note. Sorry. Uh... Uh, pulled together, the Valkyries only have half as many medallions as we need to access the Step Pyramid. I hear the Raptors are a good chunk of the way there, but my money's on the Land Sharks being the first to enter it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and hookshot over there. And probably face plant. battle music. No, we're not going to touch these just yet. I'm going to go straight on to morning. Good platform over there. Go for the face plant. Right now, I'm just um, orb harvesting. I think this is one of the areas I neglected the most when it came to like electrical finding. Follow the signs. When I opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. Let's go this way. That way. We gotta use our momentum for everything here. So we go see if we're going to the water territory now. So now. Here, and there, okay? 
the apex. This is a red herring. I believe so. I think I did this last playthrough, the first playthrough, and I completely nerfed it. I'm working on it, game. Up here? Now is not the time to be screwing up on the game. Or mouse. That thing. Up there? Alright. Sure. Oh, joy. We have one to go. Um, hang on. I hear Wendigo somewhere. Okay, so if we can propel ourselves down there. Okay. Oh! Damn it! So close. But it did... Okay, cool. So it brought us back here. So we got the right idea. Epic battle music. Oh, I nerfed that one too. get some better momentum by doing this. We gotta get aim higher. Um, boom, boom. But there's nothing that gives us access down here unless, like, we drop down here. So let's try this. Now we can build up some better momentum to get over to that area over there. There we go. Okay. So now we're back on. Now we're where we need to be. Allegedly. Okay, that rhymes. Okay, so now we need to get orbs. So what's the point of that one area here? Sought it. We got it. We got orbs over here. Continue towards. Continue the journey towards Austria. Yeah, you don't say. Um. Valley's coming back. What's the point of doing those trees then? I, I don't know. I might. This might have to be another revisit. 
Ugh. Quinn's breath. No, no, no. Recharge my stockpile for a hot second game. Oh, where's your spirit of adventure, Boogie Knight? I left it back there. If you must know, Lloyd. Oh, is this a sign? I thought for a second there was a chicken. I'm like, what? Whoa, we got another portal storm. Drop you. over there. So let's stock up quickly. Haven't been this low. <coughs> Pardon me. <sighs> okay, let's deal with the phaser. A little bit more, maybe two more trees, and we should be okay. But let's go over here right now. Grab an acorn. And go up here to the roof of this building. And let us see if there's any more collectibles or some consumables we can hawk. Or reading material. Or absolutely nothing. That too. Okay. So, not as bad as Camp Hende, but a lot more intense for obvious reasons. And for those of y'all that are probably thinking, "Oh, this grappling thing looks looks simple," actually, it's not. Like because it's all momentum based, you really need to focus on your speed, your velocity. Your V final, your V initial. Yes, I know. I'm going physics on you. Shut up. And nobody is going to understand what I'm talking about in a physics formula. Particularly, hell, I barely knew that. I pretty much slept through physics back in high school. Never took it in college. Okay, so we're going to go over there. So we're going to go over here for starters. I want to get my acorns back. Anything else? Just a wall? Okay. Scaffolding. Okay. Now I'm having flashbacks to the uh, Chamber of the Imperfect in, um, what's it called? Uh, Morrowind. April 24th, 1943. What is the significance Hi, behind these colossal statues found throughout the valley? I find they all look so very voracious. I keep returning to the idea of the mythical Sai Teka, the legendary tribe of cannibalistic giants that roamed North America and came into conflict with the aboriginals. Some giant cannibals? But what? why would they be worshipped here? There must be something else to Okay, so our new objective is to break through the cracks in the floor, which you guys probably saw when Virginia was talking, if you weren't sidetracked, like me the first time. Whoop. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
He's done it. As the Ostra facility increases output, the orbs can no longer keep pace. As such, energy will often be pulled from its surroundings. Only those equipped with leaf suits may venture near during increased production. Okay. So this might be the end of this episode. Let's find out where we are. Oh yeah. Get to the Ostra facility. Um... Yeah, Smoke Lake. Um, okay, so this would be where we end tonight's episode. Um, at some point, I want to go back t through the Proving Ground to look at that area with the, um... Okay. okay. The Sasaurians, much like other indigenous peoples, seem to hold strong cultural value in legendary creatures. The most notable one being the creature depicted on all these doors. <clears throat> It resembles the mythological Wendigo, a fierce creature with an insatiable desire. Wendigos, it's Wendigo. Come, Blue Wild. Most often linked with both greed and famine, acting as a balance of nature. Why would this creature hold such a strong cultural significance for them? I can think of a few things, but that is a question we are going to reserve for next time. So I am going to call it a night because I do have a few more things to do before I phone it in. And it is... Oh boy, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to phone it in for tonight. But thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this as much as I am. And to those that are rejoining me on this journey from the very beginning, thank you all so very much. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. And hey, if you like this type of game, uh, and you like these videos, give it a big old thumbs up. If not, give it a big old thumbs down. It helps you know what works and what doesn't work for y'all. Also, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. If you like low-poly horror games with emphasis on character development, plot, ambience, and fear factor, check him out. Link is in the description below. I guarantee you won't be let down. So with that being said, before I call it night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord. And links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporary defund Twitch page. And hey, this wouldn't be possible without the help of my incredibly attractive patrons. You'll see them fly by on the screen. If you do want to do a little bit something more for the Boogie Night Project, I do have a Patreon. But for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patron-only section of my Discord and patron-exclusive uploads that go up every Saturday. And I am doing patron requests. And just know that all the um, donations I'm getting from my Patreon are going towards getting me more RAM, which is going to arrive any day now, uh, and a new rig and eventually better equipment. So I can in turn give y'all a better experience. So thank you guys so much to my incredibly amazing patron cabal. This would not be possible without your support, not just financially, but emotionally. So otherwise, I hope y'all have a fantastic night, and I will catch y'all on the flip side, alright?